Any button. I was going to do that. So 2.35, our solar lights are starting to come on. Unfortunately, we have a pretty big cloud over the sun where we are in Etowah. So we're really not going to be able to see uh, the real corona and all that. We didn't want to take any chances so many of the fake glasses that are out there I built a little homemade viewer and there for just a few seconds we could see a, a good crescent moon through that but then the cloud was such that you really just couldn't see it's really getting dark some of the lights in the trees are starting to come on All solar operated, and voila, our laser lights are starting to come on. Oh, look at the hummingbirds. There's a songbird singing their evening song. More of the solar lights starting to come on around the pond and the creek, up on the deck. Here we are sitting on the pergola in the swing, and the solar lights here are starting to come on as well. This is this is so neat. I'm just going to be quiet as we go into totality. And we're already starting to get light back. How amazing. Hand of God. No question about that. Most of the solar lights are cutting off.
around at 240. It's really going back to normal daylight, but we do still have clouds. <laughs> but now it looks like the clouds are about to move out of the way. So uh, God's got a sense of humor. Pretty much blocked our view of the total eclipse with that cloud. And now the clouds are getting ready to move out of the way of the full sun. Either way, it's quite an experience. I set my camcorder up on a tripod in the front yard just to capture the entire experience. Looking at the front of the house. So hopefully that turned out well, showing all the solar lights coming on automatically. And now the cloud's out of the way and the sun's back to full beam. You can see the shadows of the trees on the house. All the solar lights are out. And everything's back to normal. Pretty amazing. Thank you, Lord.